Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new video after a long time. In this video I'll show you Wizender version 3.3.0. This latest version was released on May 22, 2024. I'll discuss the changes in the new version, the new features added, and the bugs fixed from the previous version. Before we get started, please note that Wesender is a Windows-based application that uses a third-party API, so there are cautions and guidelines you need to know. Without further ado, let's get started. First, go to the Algorada Digital website. In this video, I'm not going to describe all the features. I'll create a series of tutorials later for each feature. You will learn about the risks of using third-party API-based software and some guidelines to avoid bans. Make sure to read this information and take responsibility for your actions. You'll find pricing details below. You can purchase a one-year or lifetime user edition. If you're interested in doing business with Wesender, you can opt for Reseller, Reseller Plus, Rebrand, and Source Code options. In the Reseller edition, you will get the software as it is along with a key maker, allowing you to create unlimited activation keys. Reseller Plus is the same as Reseller but with your WhatsApp, email, and website information added in the Contact option. Rebranding is the same as Reseller Plus, but you can change the software name, logo, color, and more. Let's scroll down further. You'll see a Download button. Click on Download. Once downloaded, just unzip the software and install it. After installing, let's open the software. It will ask for an activation key the first time you open it. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. Send me a screenshot and this activation code to my Telegram. As a token of appreciation, I will provide a 30-day free license to all. Due to receiving tons of messages daily from you, 90% of which are problem-related, I am no longer able to answer your questions. If you encounter any errors or problems with the software, please try to solve them yourself. Do not send me messages regarding errors or problems. There is a support group where others may help you. You can approach them with your issues. Just send a message to my Telegram for the activation key in the proper format your name, country, and a screenshot of your channel subscription and video like. As you can see, we have three buttons for WhatsApp, email, and website. You can easily reach us through these buttons. Please note, if you want to purchase the software and face problems after purchasing, you can contact us via WhatsApp. Otherwise, your questions will not be answered on WhatsApp. Let's activate the software. Paste your activation key and press the Activate Now button. It is activated. Let's check the general settings, then about License Yes, it shows the latest version and activation status with contact buttons. This is the main interface, which is the single sender. I'll show you a single sending campaign with the schedule feature. This scheduling campaign is a new feature of this version. Let's check the schedule option. Create a campaign. Once done, click the Start Campaign button. You'll get the launch screen. On the launch screen, you'll find multi-messaging mode from various numbers, sending mode and friendly numbers. This friendly sending feature is new in version 3.3.0. Include a few family members or friends' numbers in this list after every 10 messages. This increases the chance of genuine engagement, having two-way communication, and lowers the risk of being marked as a spammer. At the bottom of the launch screen, you'll find two options for sending messages. Check the Schedule button. It will ask for a schedule name and time. Be sure to read these notes when scheduling a campaign. My campaign has been scheduled successfully. Let's check the scheduled items. From the menu window, click All Schedules here. You can edit, clone, or delete any schedule. Let's check another useful feature Grab Community Members. In the previous version, we could grab members from groups only. But now, we can grab members' IDs from communities and send them messages. Let's check it. Click Get Group Members. 
then click Get Community Members, it will show a notification that your WhatsApp may log out after performing this operation. You may need to log in again. So, don't be confused. I have extracted some members' IDs from a community. This is how it looks. Let's send messages to these IDs. Import the IDs the same way as numbers. Type your message content. I'm just sending a test message. Give it a name and select unsafe mode. As I mentioned earlier, WhatsApp may log out. Connect WhatsApp. Now click start yes, it is working. Messages are being sent to those IDs, a very useful feature. Remember you won't be able to view the full number for security reasons. Here is the report of community testing. TikTok has been added to the social media data extractor menu. Let's check it. Enter the keyword, targeted country code, select TikTok, then start. Yes, this is working perfectly. Remember, it will extract data only from the search engine. It doesn't have any memory, database, or artificial intelligence. It extracts only what the search engine shows. The next feature is bulk group invites. Send actual WhatsApp invitations to users who aren't in your contact list. Click on bulk add group members input your numbers. Click start. It will show your group list where you want to add or invite members. Remember to check the box send group invitation code if fail the software will add members if they are already in your contact list and if not, it will send invitations. Details of the bulk add group members option are available on the website, so check it if needed. As a new update, the warmer feature has been updated. Check the warmer. You must have at least two numbers to start. Check here. All message content has been updated to remove offensive content. You can now choose between one-to-one -one and one-to-many. Warming methods. Increasing your warming efficiency. A few new languages have been added. Wazender is now available in Tamil, Bengali, Telugu, and Malay. The Ignore Link Preview option has been added to General Settings. Enable this option to avoid issues when sending messages with links. The Google Map Data Extractor is working fine. Issues with capturing website, email, images, and addresses have been resolved. Let's check it. Yes, it is working fine. These were the major changes in Weezender version 3.3.0. There are also some bug fixes in this latest version. That's all for now. Enjoy your WhatsApp marketing. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.